Selecting the right target is likely the most important decision that we make. So we need to make sure that when we pick a target, it has clear human translational relevance to the disease. I'm working with identifying new drug targets and developing novel therapies for the treatment of metabolic diseases, including non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or NAFLD, and its more serious variant, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or NASH. NAFLD is now a leading cause of liver disease, and it's growing in prevalence worldwide. Today, there are no approved pharmacotherapies for this disease, and it's a very serious disease that ultimately can lead to development of cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma, and where you need a liver transplantation. Stefano is a leading expert in NAFLD genetics and has made significant contributions to this field. Stefano, could you elaborate a bit more about NAFLD genetics and the implications it may have? Absolutely, Daniel. There are a handful of genetic variants increasing the risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Interestingly, all these variants primarily affect liver fat content by modulating the partition of lipids in the liver. The knowledge from these genetic variants demonstrates that the excess in liver fat content is, per se, responsible for disease progression. Among these genetic variants, there is one in the PMPLA3 gene conferring undoubtedly the largest risk in progressing all the way down to the life-threatening consequences of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Just to give you an example, homozygotes for this variant have a more than tenfold increased risk of developing liver cancer. In collaboration with Daniel, we've taken advantage of this mutation and we were excited to see that its downregulation in vivo is beneficial against non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Yeah, we were really excited about that story, Stefano. And we have also collaborated on identifying novel genetic targets or linked genes in NAFLD. And in our most recent publication in Nature Metabolism, we described PST3 as a novel genetically linked gene to NAFLD. Can you tell us a bit more about the genetic discovery there, Stefano? Yes, I will walk you through how we discovered PST3. We started by a candidate gene approach where we examined more than 30 genes affecting circulating triglycerides in individuals where we knew exactly the amount of liver fat content. In this initial cohort, PSD3 was associated with lower liver fat content. We wanted to confirm this finding in a group of more than 1,900 individuals with liver fat content measurement by liver biopsy. Here, we realized that the variant was not only associated with lower liver fat content, but also lower inflammation and fibrosis that are key factors for the life-threatening consequences of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. We further confirmed this data in two additional cohorts of individuals at risk for this disease. The next key question was to understand how this variant resulted in a protection against fatty liver disease. In other words, understanding molecular genetics. We first showed this gene is highly expressed in the liver and at an even higher level in those with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And eventually figure out that the protective variant is a partial loss of function. Based on this data, we were able to hypothesize and demonstrate that downregulation of PSD3 reduced intracellular lipids in human primary hepatocytes culture in 3D organoids. Yeah, and, and that's a really significant finding, Stefano, since we know that 3D cultures of primary hepatocytes closely resemble the human liver uh, physiology. As a final step, and in collaboration with Ionis Pharmaceuticals, we evaluated the therapeutic potential of targeting PSD3 specifically in the liver by using Galnac conjugated antisense oligonucleotides, or ASOs. We were excited to see that liver targeting of PSD3 reduced or improved all components of NAFLD and NASH, including reductions in liver fat accumulation, inflammation, and fibrosis. 
Yes, Daniel, absolutely. Finding PSD3 down regulation was beneficial against the entire spectra of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and having a proof of concept of a therapeutic target to treat this condition was extremely exciting. As we look into the future, the core of our strategy is to better understand the disease biology and uncover novel drivers of NAFLD and other diseases. And it has been such a pleasure to collaborate with you throughout these years, Stefano. And I'm really optimistic about what the future will bring and excited to continue our collaboration. Yes, Daniel, absolutely. The pleasure was mine. This teamwork has been a great journey and I look forward to even greater discoveries. 